And the mild weather continues as we move on into the early afternoon hours. Plenty of cloud cover out there. We've seen a few sprinkles and a little bit of drizzle here and there, but no significant rainfall so far this morning. That's about to change though as we move through the afternoon. Now you can barely see this fine line here moving into areas in northwestern Osage County. That's the leading edge of the cold front with much colder air behind it and it's dropping off to the south and west. That's going to be moving into the Tulsa area here probably within about the next 90 minutes to two hours. So right around two o'clock or so we're going to see that front move in and temperatures are going to drop for the rest of the afternoon and the evening hours. And as it continues working south and east, a little better chance for showers as it moves across the rest of eastern Oklahoma. Well, in advance of it, though, it's pretty mild for this time of the year at 54 degrees. And once again, another day with strong winds out there currently out of the south at 21. Now, as that front moves by, we're going to see the wind shift around to the northwest. Very gusty 15 to 25, some gusts up to 35 miles per hour. So we're going to see windy conditions all the way through the afternoon, but we will see them shift around in direction later on today. You can see where the front's already passed through K County now moving into extreme northwestern sections of Osage County behind it. We drop from the 50s quickly into the mid 30s. That's going to happen here in Tulsa. We'll see temperatures drop about 10 to 15 degrees within the first hour after that front passes. You notice in advance of still upper 40s and low to mid 50s as warm as 56 right now in Bristow, 52 in McAllister and 50 degrees over in Pryor. You throw that north wind in behind the front, drops the wind chill currently to 26 in Ponca City. You notice most of eastern Oklahoma in pretty good shape at this time, but as that front continues moving to the south, and east. We're going to see not only the colder temperatures move in, but also we're going to see those wind chills really starting to impact the area through the late afternoon and evening hours. So for the next four or five, six hours, we are going to see temperatures right now at 54, maybe go up another degree or so right before the front moves in and then starting to drop off through the afternoon. So you notice by the time uh, four or five o'clock gets here, we're going to see temperatures back into the 30s and near freezing as we move through the late afternoon and early evening hours. So temperatures are really going to drop off fast here over the next four or five hours. So on future track, a few isolated showers still in advance of the front. There's the front here at the midday hour. It'll move on through. Now as it moves on through, there will be a chance for showers across the area, even behind the front. Some showers, some drizzle still possible. But as the colder air continues to filter on in, we will see the potential for that to change over to a light wintry mix. You notice around 8 o'clock, especially from around Highway 412 and points to the north in this pink and blue shading, there will be a chance for a very light wintry mix. Maybe a little bit of sleep, maybe some very light freezing rain possible. The only good news at this time is the ground temperatures are running in the mid 40s, so I don't expect the main roads to have that much of a problem. It's going to be the elevated services, the bridges, overpasses, those type of things. We could see a slick spot or two, especially north of Tulsa as we move through the evening hours and as that cold air continues to move across eastern Oklahoma, we'll see a little bit better chance of a very light wintry mix over into parts of far northeast and east central Oklahoma. That precipitation moves out pretty quickly. We'll see cloudy skies for most of the night and then some clearing moving in as we move into the morning hours tomorrow. Rainfall amounts not terribly impressive here in Tulsa, maybe two tenths of an inch or less, a little higher over near the Arkansas line. We could pick up up to about a half an inch of precipitation as we move through the evening hours with that front. Overnight tonight, temperatures dropping well into the 20s. How about 23 in Tulsa with a northwest wind? Wind chills tomorrow morning are going to start off in the upper single digits and teens. So get ready for more cold air moving back into eastern Oklahoma. And well, Aaron, if you're wanting to see warmer temperatures, well, we're going to have to wait a while. The next 10 <laughs> days, look at those morning lows generally in the 20s Ooh. and afternoon highs generally in the 40s. So pretty good stretch of cold weather on the way for eastern Oklahoma over the next 10 days. But again, it's January. We expect this kind of weather this time of year. Absolutely. Yeah, this time of weather is that time where you just get real comfortable with your electric blanket or, you know, your heating pads or your toe warmers, things like that. Yeah, extended period to try to stay warm. You got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Dad.